Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 207. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 203 to 210. Hey, in this Magic Trick, we're going to see how to set up a math problem and solve it using logical steps. Now, this could be true of any calculating problem where you have some written tests or some instructions. All right, here it is. We have a problem. It says, if there are 10 boomerangs for sale at $20 each and the cost for each boom is $10, what is the total profit if you sell them all? Well, shoot, I can do this one in my head, right? 20 times uh, minus 10 gives us the, the, the cost, in essence, times 10 is 100. Ah, but what we want to see is a method that will help us, especially when we get to our complex problems. Hey, step one, list variables and goal. Step one, list Oops, Excel is talking to me. <coughs> list variables and goal. Well, let's just read the problem. Read the problem. There are 10 boomerangs, so the first variable is what? Number of boomerangs. I'll just put booms. Number of booms. And that is, oh, look, I can't spell goal. I'm a terrible speller and typer. It's just terrible. Number of booms, there are 10. Enter. Now, how about price? Price of uh, boom. I think that was 20, right? Control, enter. Now, I'm going to format this with the keyboard shortcut Control, Shift, 4. That's currency. Now, what about cost of boom? Uh, that's 10, right? 10, control enter to keep the cell highlight, and then control shift 4. Hey, um, so let's, we got uh, everything we have $20 each cost. Oh, and the goal, so the goal the goal is uh, what is the total profit? And you know, if you have some written instructions, it doesn't hurt to just say, uh, what is the total profit if you sell them all? We're just going to scoop that out and put it right here. We're honoring the author of this with their eloquent description of what we're supposed to do. All right, that's step one. Step two. In fact, I'm going to do a little formatting here. I'm going to highlight those, and we never use Merge and Center. I have a great video on YouTube why we're never going to use that. Control-1. <coughs> it causes all sorts of problems from inserting columns. I'm not getting it out. Control-1. Control-1 is format cells. For some reason, that's not working. Oh, there we go. Uh, we want alignment and never merge cells and center. We just want center cross selection. I promise you, merge cells, merge and center is a disaster. Formulas don't work. Inserting columns, uh, also moving, copying, and moving it doesn't work. It's terrible. I'm going to add some formatting here just to make my eyes uh, able to see it. Right, and then I can uh, do my. By the way, the keyboard shortcut to turn this on and off the ribbons is Control F1. See, then I can just use my paint bucket once I have all of that, and then just go, boop, and there it is. All right, I'm going to click here. Step two is set up and solve. All right, we need um, total profit and total cost or total revenue. Uh, so how about t total revenue, total cost, and uh, total profit. All right. Um, I'm going to turn this off here because it's using a lot of real estate. Control F1. All right, let's uh, do the formula for total revenue. Equals, oh, there's our 10, but guess what? We're able, since we have revenue and cost, price and cost there, we can lock this with our F4 key and go times uh, what? The um, price right here. This one is relative to move, so when you copy it down, it'll pick up the cost. Control Enter and then copy it down. Total profit is straightforward, equals revenue minus uh, expenses or cost. So there we have it, a um, hundred bucks. Now I'm going to control C and paste this right down here, and then I'm going to put it into edit mode or just start typing. Sorry. Step three: write 
Answer in words. Now, you could just write this out, um, but I'm going to get uh, a little bit tricky here. Uh, how about this? What is the profit? Just the, I'm going to scoop this, the profit, if you sell them all, is, and then we'll type the number, right? doesn't hurt to, to take those words when there's a question being asked and you're supposed to answer it. The, in fact, that's a great trick when you don't know how to write the answer. The total profit, if you sell them all, is... And we'll do, uh, what, 100 bucks? So you should, could just type it in, right? Well, that would be fine. They are perfectly acceptable. I'm going to put it into edit mode. I'm going to come to the beginning of this and type in equals, a double quote. And then I'm going to um, get rid of that right there by highlighting it and then type double quote. Notice I have a space right there. And then I'm going to ampersand. And I'm going to use the dollar function. The dollar function will take a number and turn it into text formatted as currency. Close parentheses, and by default it has two decimals. All right, so if we were to uh, then change any input because we uh, misread the problem, this was 20, then everything would update, including our uh, words. So there it is. That is some just straightforward logic about how to solve a math word problem or but any problem in Excel. You've got to list your variables and your goals so you have everything down in front of you. Set it up and solve, and then uh, write some statement about your conclusion. All right, we'll see you next trick.